to my channel this is nurse abube in today's video i am going to be teaching you how to calculate your fertile periods in case you're trying to conceive you're trying to get pregnant how you're going to calculate it so that you will not be jumping up and down when you're trying to get pregnant and also if you're someone that is like that's the kukere does and you want to avoid pregnancy yes i am going to teach you how to also do that in this video and i've been seeing a lot of people go with the 28 day cycle calculation but we are going to do something different by using the 32 day cycle calculation yes so in case i know a lot of people will come in the comment section to ask me what about people that have pcos or people that have hormonal issues yes this calculation might not work for you but after this i'm going to still tell you what will work for you so just stay tuned let's get into the video now if you are someone that has a 32 day cycle so i already have like something going on this is a day of the month of the year like a month in the year and let's we are in december right now today is 5th of december and let's assume that my period started today which is the 5th of december so this 5th is actually the first day of my menstrual cycle and i have a 32 day cycle so let's just start calculating so this fifth is my day one first day of menstrual cycle and bear in mind that there are four phases in the cycle but because we are looking at pregnancy and avoiding pregnancy we are just going to stick to two which is the ovulation phase and the menstrual phase we have the follicular and luteal phase but that is not for our consumption today so this is the first day this is your second day third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yes. So my period started on 5th of december then it will my uh, my menstrual cycle started from the 5th of december which is my first day of menstrual cycle and it ended on 32 days which is the last day of my menstrual cycle so on 5th of january next year will be the last day of my menstrual cycle because the 5th of december is now my first day of menstrual cycle i don't know if you get what i mean so now no matter no matter no matter your cycle yeah no matter the length of your cycle every woman ovulates 14 days before her menstrual period i don't know if you understand what i mean like whether you have a 22 day cycle because most times menstrual cycle varies between 22 and 35 and 40 days yeah some people go as long as 40 days so whether you're 20 you have a 22 day cycle you have a 27 day 28 day 32 day cycle your menstrual period the length of your the length of your cycle every woman will still ovulate 14 days before her menstrual period like even if your menstrual cycle is 32 that 14th day before your menstrual cycle is when you are going to ovulate so let us calculate it because for this person for me that 
my menstrual cycle is 32 uh, days my day of ovulation in this cycle is going to be 18th day on the 18th day for someone that has a 28 day cycle the person will menstruate on the 14th day leaving 14 days to her menstrual period now let's calculate this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 so on the 22nd of december will be my ovulation day yes mind you ovulation lasts for just 24 hours just 24 hours but because we are trying to like not like face only that 24 hours because at times you would not even know when it starts you just know when it's ending or you know just before it starts so the best thing to do is that we give two days in front and two days at the back let's just say today is 18th we give 16th from this 16th to this 24th that is from 16th to to 20th day so that you like take everything into cognizance you don't leave anything out so if you're somebody that wants to get pregnant from 16th from this 16th day to this 20th day you should make sure you're you know having you know doing the do with your husband or oh, this is strictly for people that are married yes but if you're not somebody that is dancing you know carry dance you want to avoid pregnancy unwanted unplanned pregnancy you know that this 16 to 20th day you have to stay off sex you have to stay off unprotected sex i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say yes so if you're somebody that have a 28 day cycle the same thing goes on just that you will now get your period on the 14th day you will now get your ovulation on the 14th day leaving 14 days to your menstruation yes leaving 14 days extra to your menstruation now let's count it this is the 20th day oh no this is the 18th day like this is the 18th day after your this is the 18th day which is the day you ovulated so let's count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen you see 14 days to your main because this is the last day of your menstrual cycle so this is the next cycle you know it's a cycle it doesn't break it continues it does not break like a circle doesn't break out once it breaks out it's another shape it's no longer a circle so apart from the calculation method there are other methods you can use to predict your ovulation i told you that if you're somebody that has pcos or other hormonal issues or maybe due to anxiety and stress your ovulation now becomes difficult for you to predict or your ovulation period now varies there are other things you can use to predict your ovulation and the number one and the most important of them all is the bbt the basal body temperature yes whenever you start ovulating your temperature goes up it peaks with 0 0.5 to 1 degree celsius so if you take your temperature every morning when, when like let's take for instance that you're trying to know when you're fertile and you take your temperature every morning you will find out that your temperature rose by 0 0.5 to 1 degree celsius the second one is the position of the cervix when you're not ovulating the cervix tends to be hidden but when you're now ovulating it opens up it becomes softer it even lifts 
forward and upward. All this is to facilitate the entrance of sperm into it. The third one is the consistency of the cervical mucus. Yes, your cervical mucus, when you're not ovulating, is usually scanty. Nothing is there, almost. But when you're now ovulating, the cervical mucus is usually thin and watery, slippery kind of. And when you know, dip your hand into your vagina and like draw it, it's, it's very, very stretchy. Yes, that's the consistency. And the fourth one is the metal schmerz. Yes, I'm not going to like feed you with ambiguous grammar, but metal schmerz is just simply ovulation pain. It's the pain you feel at your lower abdomen when you're ovulating. It comes on the left or the right side, depending on the ovary that's releasing egg for that month. Then the fourth, the fifth one is slightly heavy and tender breasts. Yes, if you're somebody that's in tune with your body, you know your body well and you know when your body is changing. You should be able to detect that your breast becomes heavier and tender and yes. So the sixth one is stronger sex drive. Yes, so women tend to love to do the do when they are ovulating. Yes, this is a thing. And the next one is stronger sense of smell yes many women tend to have a stronger sense of smell because let's take for instance that my sense of smell is like 60 percent on a norms when i'm ovulating i find out that it goes up to like 95 percent whatever you keep i must perceive it and i must find it out okay so now the eighth one is the swelling slight swelling of the v and v when i say v and v i mean the vagina and the vulva so when you're ovulating you find out that the vagina and the vulva becomes slightly swollen the ninth one is ovulation test kits yes there are a lot of ovulation test kits in the market go to the pharmacy buy them it just it works like the pregnancy test kit yes you just dip it into your urine, just the way you test for pregnancy and the line appears and you know you're ovulating. You can do it every morning if you're like seriously wanting to prevent pregnancy or you're seriously wanting to get pregnant. The tenth one is the applic applications. Yes, there are a lot of applications in the market these days. Yeah, these applications help you to detect when you are ovulating so these applications help you to detect when you're ovulating so what it does is that you put them you install them on your phone and then they help you to keep track of your ovulation period we have apps like the ovia app the flow app the premium many people swear by the premium so you can check that out so my darlings this is all i have for you today thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you are not already hit that subscribe button give this video a huge thumbs up thank you for all the support i am able to do this because of you guys thank you so much and i will see you in my next one have a blessed day Mwah.